here we have five different tubes with different test substances. We've got some water as a negative control, some sucrose, ordinary table sugar, and then we've got three different dilutions of glucose. And we're going to add an approximately equal volume of Benedict's reagent to each tube. This is a full strength glucose. This one's been diluted about 50-50 and this one's been diluted about 10 times. Now, in order to make the Benedict's test work, the tubes have to be incubated in very hot water. Ideally, it should be over 80 degrees C. Okay, we're just using water from a freshly boiled kettle here. And the tubes will stand in there for in the region of five minutes. After five minutes is up, we take them out and we can see the color changes in the tubes that contain glucose. The sucrose tube has still stayed blue. Okay, but then we have uh, the intermediate glucose concentration is kind of a, a yellowy brown. Uh, we've got a greenish one for the very dilute. Um, and then we have this color here, which is described as brick red for the most concentrated glucose. And if we compare them with the original one, you can see um, that the sucrose clearly hasn't worked and then we've got a, ch a gradation of colors uh, in the glucose depending on how concentrated it was. The most concentrated is on the right here. 